Robert sadly is being victimised, I think, very unfairly by the immigration authorities and by the way in which the system itself is operated. In normal circumstances, most reasonable people would recognise that Robert's case as a gay man being returned to a country like his, liable to suffer at best imprisonment, victimisation and some personal injury. At worst, he could face death. Robert's case, sadly, is like many. I'm dealing with another case involving a young gay man who the authorities want to send back to Iran. Now, this young man's not only gay, but he changed his religion from that of Islam to Christianity. So he's in double jeopardy if he's returned. And yet the authorities are seemingly unaware of the dangers that people like Robert and this other young man face. Are you confident the Home Secretary is prepared to sort out this problem? Because I know the government has been very vocal about protecting gay rights around the world of late. I, I think, oh yeah, they say one thing but do another. She's in charge of the department which is completely and utterly mishandled, not only this case, but several. The gay network will know of many men in similar circumstances to Roberts. Gay friends of mine have told me persecutions and the atrocities that are committed against people simply for being gay, and that is just unacceptable. And if we as a nation and a government believe that we're doing the right thing, then we've seriously got it wrong. Because people like Robert need to be cherished as part of our community. And if I could just finally ask and reiterate, I mean, are you confident that the government will actually try and start making the right decisions and trying to get the Home Office in order on this issue? They will if people like you and me take the cases time and time again to Robert. I'm amazingly pleased that the media in this country have taken Robert to their hearts and have given him a fair hearing. I just hope people like Theresa May and other people within the Home Office look and read what's being said. Gay people suffer enough persecution and abuse. Uh, we don't have to do it on a national basis, as it seems we are.